Anyway, guys, welcome back to Bleach Shattered Blade. In the last episode, we ended up taking care of Toshiro Hitsugaya's episode. Today's episode is our badass, our scary wielder of his deadly, broken, well, nearly broken and dulled blade, the Rocky Kempachi. Let's get this shit started. Whew. And I thought I had to start over this video. Good thing I got rid of the old audio and then replaced it with this audio. Look at the Rocky. Oh, this is pretty nice. My precious. As soon as I took hold of it, the spiritual power in my body began thrashing around like a storm. The fuck? Yeah. I can feel power coming from my body. It's like having a boner without having to worry about the wood. Oh, 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 god, that was so childish, too. Oh no, Zoraki Kenpachi has power. This is a Sokyoku shard. He's that smart to realize that. I, I'm impressed. Fight to the death. Fight for my amusement. Yes. And its shards were scattered among the Seirei Tai. Seirei Tai. I'm sorry, it's just he's funny whenever he says that. Seirei Tai. One can gain incredible power from only a small fragment. Only one will get you a boner, but the rest will make you a super boner. But my spiritual power is usually suppressed by my eye patch. Eh. To me. It doesn't seem too much of a difference whether I have this or not. Ah, Jesus. But it doesn't change the fact Ducky is like a I dick. Ah, feel oh, feels so the good. The real problem is... Everyone, everyone else. else. If someone got a shard from somewhere, his spiritual power would guy rock it. Rocket. And I'd his boner would be bigger than, than mine. Yes. Let us fight to the death. Bonerific. I ran out to find someone to have a death match yes. with. Yachiru, who had secretly got on my back, stuck out her face from the side. <laughs> She's a little pink ninja. People who have obtained shards have already begun fighting. Things have already become See, he doesn't even give a flying it fuck about the show. who it is. Let me have some fun soon. Yep. As you can see, he doesn't even give a flying fuck about what the jewel does. As long as it can give him power, well, he does know what it is, but he doesn't really care what else every- <gasps> Oh my god, I like this! Usagi! I love you! You look awesome! Especially your Shikai Kazetini. Or is it Shinikaze? Fuck it. It's always. It's, it's usually back in the works. <laughs> he has the best tattoo on his face. 69. No one else gives a fuck except for him. He's the best at 69. Yeah. Okay, the only thing I see on his face, Zoraki, is 69 and a scar on his face. I don't know what you're and a, like a white line over his face. But if eh. you comply, leave me with no choice. I'm gonna stab you. But to take them by force. Bring it. Bring it, you scar face looking motherfucker. Trying to look like Zoraki. Zoraki has a better scar than you. I'm gonna cut you up. And serve you. Oh yeah, at the same time while I'm playing this, I'm kinda... I'm listening to music on my right ear. So... I'm multitasking because, you know, I do like the game, but sometimes I want to listen to my own music. So, I might rage. For some strange reason, I've been a little bit raging a little more often than usual. Alright, let's fuck shit up. Yeah. All the power! Whoa! Okay. Come at me, bro. Ah. I love it. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Ow. Here's the constellation. I thought it was constellation prize. Yeah. Okay, that... I didn't know those shank would... Okay. I guess the moveset for Zoraki to activate his final is different. Eh. This isn't enough. Isn't there anyone more interesting? Fuck up, Zoraki. Oh, yeah, I kind of did overkill the guy, so... Oh, well, whatever. He's dead. I mean, maybe alive, I hope. Eh. Eh, he doesn't really give a flying fuck if anyone lives or dies. So that's the Rocky's path and being a little fucked up man. 
not little either, he's just fucking scary. In a way, I'd rather choose an Adon card to fight instead of Zoraki Kimbashi, because he would just get a hard on to fight everyone. Because seriously, he's like, fucking powerful. He doesn't even be- he's the only captain I can really respect. I love you! Hey! How about you chill out with that, bro? Constellation Pride! Constellation Hmm. Let's see, there's that. Shame. 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 Ow. You know what? Ow. Okay, let's try the counter again. There we go. See, and I did not waste the power up. I mean, I will not use the power up. I'm gonna just try to overkill everyone. God, look at his hand, it's like fucking bar, like, it's super... You know about them big hands, <laughs> lady? Mm, mustache. I don't know, I'm just being stupid now. Especially since I have this mustache, like, this beard, like, this beard mustache combo going on. And I fucking have scabs on my face because I keep fucking with my wound. My wound! So I'm being a little stupid about that. Oh well, let's fuck shit up! I love overkill. Oh, redhead goes down. Yes. Seriously. Out. Yeah, no. Shame. Constellation prize. Shame. I feel sorry for anyone who really fights. Constellation Pride. <laughs> who wants to fuck with daddy here? Yeah, no, I kind of feel like sorry for anyone that really fights. Like, you know, that is an actual enemy. Instead of, like, Ichigo fought him. He won, but, like, fuck, he got fucked up. Let's be serious. Ichigo would have got even further fucked up if... If shit didn't went down as it is. But, you know, since the writer likes to at least have a good focus on the main character of Bleach. I mean, in the anime, yes, it does work on side stories for the characters. But really, the manga itself focuses on the main character, and that kind of seems like it's crappy. Alright, oh, Ikaku. The lieutenant, like, one of the two lieutenants of the rookies. I love it! Shame! Don't fuck! Come at me, bro. Here's your constellation prize! Really? Fucking Zoraki is a tank. Live, live, and come try to fight me again, her. I don't know. Ikaku and Zoraki have a type of relationship where it's like a yes-no, but, you know, I would support. Oh my god. Komamura, huh? now he's it's Komamura! I like him. Other than Zoraki, this dude is fucking, like, powerhouse. Literally, even his Bankai just tells him, I'm fucking powerhouse. Watch it. If you're trying to blame but, me. Yeah, seriously, back the fuck up. Be offended if you wish. Oh. But I intend to put a stop to your misbehavior. Misbehavior, sip boo boo fit. Bad I don't dog. If you think it's my fault or not, as long as you and I settle the issue right now with a bad Yeah, let me cut. We got interrupted the last time. <laughs> this time. Oh. Uh, fight to the death. Oh, oh shit, you serious. Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> we'll finish this right now. It's time to fix the puppy. <laughs> You know what? I gotta say, at least you know the voice actors in this game work like work this out better than it would in most video games. Well, no, okay, let's be a dick. Well, more of like either movie-like video games or anime-like video games because I can't say that badly about the Naruto voice acting for the game because they make it worth the while. Yeah. 
Shame. You believe you like playing Tekken? Shame. I like playing. Let's fix the puppy. Constellation Prime. Shame. I mean, fuck. Look at Zoraki Kimhachi's just fucking health itself. He's a motherfucking tank. He's a greater tank than Komomoda and all the powerhouse. Clearly, he. Out of every other captain except for the first captain. Because no one fucks with the first captain except for Aizen and the Quincy. I gotta admit, fucking 